Oh, have I got a special one for you today, folks. I tell you what, Bushido Blues, one of my dear, dear friends here on YouTube, sent me a Christmas gift. Today, we're going to discuss it. It's at River's Edge. Don't go anywhere. Oh, boy. Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Happy, happy hump day. That's right. One of my favorite times of the week, as always, is hump day. My apologies, this shirt feels a little snug. Considering I've lost a couple of pounds, that's weird. But anyway, I'll be uncomfortable so that you can be comfortable watching me talk about an amazing samurai movie, if you will. From our dear, dear friend Bushido Blues. If you're not following him, down in the description below is a link to his channel. You need to, you need to go, go, ap well, after, after this video, go, go subscribe to his channel. Fantastic, fantastic guy. Great material, great videos. Woo. Anyway, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And down in the description below is not only Bushido Blues' link, but stuff that we love here. No one pays us. It's just good quality products that we enjoy. Like, I don't know, coffee. Mm. And we do so love coffee here. So, Christmas is long past, theoretically. We're in the midst of January of 2023. And I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, Nerdy Wife found me some movie dice <laughs> at the store. And it's pretty neat. Like, say, say you've got a list, right? You've got a list written down of stuff you want to watch. And you roll them. And one of them says drama, drama, comedy, horror, romance, etc. So you roll to see which topic of movie you're going to watch. And then one through six, like on your list. And then one... For movie or series, depending, you know, which one you get. If, if you've got a bunch of lists like I do, ah, makes it easy to decide what to watch. And I thought that was pretty nifty. And they're huge wooden dice, which is really neat, too. So, let's talk about samurai films. There are many, many samurai films. And if you want to know what the best samurai films are, Bushido Blues is the, is the man to talk to. And he will, I'm, I'm sure he's got 19 lists of the greatest samurai films, right? Because he's, he's like, he discusses them all on his channel. And for Christmas, he sent me this little gift right here. That's right. At River's Edge, I'm going to try to get the glare off of it. There you go. At River's Edge. Now, I had never seen this, but he has said many times this is one of his favorite samurai movies. And so he sent me a copy of it. And I really appreciated that because there's nowhere local here for me to get one. And, well, they're expensive on the interwebs. <laughs> um, I've seen many samurai movies, but for the most part, I stay in, like, the main lane. Uh, you know, Kurosawa, Seven Samurai, etc., things like that. This one, since I've started talking to Bushido, I've watched quite a few really good samurai movies that I would have never found without him. And this one is unique. All right. Let's take a look at it, shall we? At River's Edge, the original title is Ogawa no Hotori. I believe that's how you say it. If it's not, my apologies. I'm in Arkansas. 2011, an hour and 44 minutes. Set in the fictional Unisaka domain, the story involves a samurai who's obligated to follow an order that could destroy his relationship with his own sister. That is a horrible synopsis. Oh. But anyway. Now, I'm not even going to try to say this 
man's name. I, I know it's Fujisawa. Shuhei? I guess I'm going to try to say it. <laughs> but he was a writer, or is a writer, was a writer, that many, there's several samurai movies based on his works. Or many movies based on his works. And this is based on one of his works. Now, I'm going to be honest. This, I'm, I think, this is the only one I've seen from of the movies based on his works. But there's quite a few. And they're not the Hackam Slashem Samurai movie. Okay? So if you're looking for, like, just non-stop sword fights, blood, guts, you know, action. This is not that. Not at all. What this is, is a story about a samurai who his lord has decreed he will go assassinate his best friend who has bounced out of the clan without permission. And his best friend happens to be married to his younger sister. Now, the younger sister, so the wife of the samurai he has to go assassinate, or duel, also knows how to use the katana. She's been trained in the sword. So, this is entirely a family, uh, about a family at odds, and a samurai's journey to do what he's supposed to do, regardless of whether he likes it or not. And what happens in that situation and on that journey. So for the most part, there is very little sword play in this movie. There is the climactic duel at the end. There is a couple of other practice scenes, you know, uh, or practice duels between the two best friends that happened in the past and you get to see it's all about the honor and integrity of the samurai in this movie that's what it's about it's a deep story with great acting it's beautifully shot cinematography is great I loved it every minute of it it was so well done. Now, my apologies. Evidently, the street sweeper decided that now would be a great time to drive right up beside my house. So, if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Let's continue, shall we? So, not only is it well done, well written, beautifully shot, there is an, a side romance between the younger sister and another character who's integral to the story. Now, I didn't necessarily understand where one of the characters even came from. And maybe that's just in translation or I'm dumb. And so that's possible. But overall, it's complex and beautiful. Everything about it is just a great journey to get to a solid ending. And the ending, I thought it was going to be something else entirely. I'm not going to lie. The whole way to the movie, I'm like, oh, I'm expecting a certain ending. And that is not what happened. So, surprised me. All right? And usually I can tell these things. <laughs> but overall, I loved it. I want to tell Bushido Blues how much I appreciate him sending me this, I would have not seen it otherwise, more than likely. And it's brilliant. And now I'm going to have to look into other movies based on the writings of this author because it's he had a way he could make things very deep and complex while looking quite simple overall. And you know how much I love Samurai stuff. Because I do. Alright, you guys. Hey, look. That's it. I've got a few things i got to do today. And so I'm going to have to get out of here. As much as I love sitting here chatting with you. 
Uh, I love this movie. If you get a chance, you should watch this movie. I know that if you check out Bushido Blues' review of this movie, he tells you where you can get it and a discount. You can get a discount as well, uh, thanks to him. So, I know that's where I got it from, that he sent it to me from. So, and that's Samurai DVD. Dot com but don't 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 go there based on me like go check out his review and he has a discount code if I remember correctly so that's two reasons to go check out Bushido Blues's channel <coughs> all right you guys hey from Michael the microphone Bob squeaky chair and this big fat nerd <laughs> we'll see you on Friday Oh, 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 oh,